In short, if things do not change, the helmeted hornbill may go extinct, not just in Sarawak, not just in Malaysia, but the whole world, just like the dodo. I have asked you all whether you want me to talk about helmeted hornbills or giant pandas, and you all voted for the helmeted hornbill. So, helmeted hornbill it is. Today, I am here to talk about one of my favorite birds in the world. This is the largest hornbill, not just in Sarawak, but in Borneo. Some of us bird watchers nickname it the Phoenix because number one, it is huge, like 120 centimeters or four feet in length. That is roughly the size of a child. Number two, it can still fly. And number three, it has a very beautiful long tail, just like a phoenix. And ladies and gentlemen, this bird is none other than the helmeted hornbill. The helmeted hornbill is a very special bird. It is the only hornbill in the world with a solid cast, unlike other species of hornbills where the cast inside is empty. And the helmeted hornbill use this solid cast to fight each other by literally headbutting each other until one gives up. I am seriously not making this up. And it also has one of the most beautiful nightmarish call I've ever heard. Listen. The stuff of nightmares. However, it is also a little bit sad because this hornbill may go extinct very soon. According to IUCN, the helmeted hornbill is now critically endangered. So, what does critically endangered mean? Let me try to put it into perspective. The helmeted hornbill is one stage away from being extinct in the wild. This means that there are no more helmeted hornbill left in the forest. We can only see them in places like zoos or bird parks. And they are two stages away from being totally extinct. Which means there are no more helmeted hornbill left in the world. They are totally extinct, like the dodo. Let me give you another perspective. We all know the giant panda is quite endangered, right? According to IUCN, the giant panda is actually now vulnerable, while the helmeted hornbill is now critically endangered. The helmeted hornbill is actually two stages more endangered than the giant pandas. In short, if things do not change, the helmeted hornbill may go extinct, not just in Sarawak, not just in Malaysia, but the whole world, just like the dodo. So why are they so endangered? There are actually two main threats to the helmeted hornbills, deforestation and poaching. We cannot deny that there has been a lot of logging activities in Southeast Asia. This is a problem because helmeted hornbills require pristine forests, but thankfully, Governments and NGOs are working together to preserve large patches of forests in Southeast Asia. And hopefully, these large patches of forests will be converted into helmeted hornbill sanctuaries. The second issue is poaching. Let me try to put it into perspective how serious the poaching issue is. From 2010 to 2017, 2,871 helmeted hornbill casts were confiscated in Indonesia and China alone. This is a serious issue because the helmeted hornbills breed very slowly. To make things worse, the 2,871 helmeted hornbill casts were the ones that were confiscated. What about the ones that were not caught? So what should we do as average Joes and Janes to help prevent the helmeted hornbills from going extinct? I have three recommendations. Number one, be the eyes and ears of authorities. Whenever you see people hunting or selling hornbill parts, contact your local authorities. The poachers and the smugglers are very smart people and they are really good at hiding. However, imagine if the authorities have eyes and ears everywhere. The poachers and the smugglers will stand no chance. I have left a few contacts of authorities in the description below, so please go through them and save them in your phone. Remember, Things will only change if we all play our parts. Number two, donate to NGOs trying to save the helmeted hornbills. There are a few NGOs working tirelessly to save the helmeted hornbills. And I would recommend donating to them because as an NGO, 
Money is always a problem. Again, I will leave a few links in the description below if you are interested in donating. And lastly, raising awareness. I always like to use the giant panda as an example because it is a conservation miracle. Not long ago, the giant panda was actually endangered as well. However, people started becoming aware and even fell in love with the giant pandas. Because of this, a lot of money and effort were put into conservation and research and they were pushed from endangered to now just vulnerable. It was truly a conservation miracle. So help me raise awareness by sharing this video or if you think my presentation is too informal, I have left a few articles in the description below for you to share with your friends and families. Remember, the best way to save an animal is to make everyone fall deeply in love with it. My only hope is that our grandchildren, their children, and their children, and so on, will have the opportunity to see the helmeted hornbills in the forest, and not just in TVs and books. And that's all for this video. A lot of people voted for the giant panda as well. So, since a lot of people are fascinated with the giant panda, I will make a video on the giant panda as well. That video will be out in a few months time, so please stay tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you all in the next video.